Even though Microsoft Windows is almost 40 years old, the default tools for seeing file usage are still pretty limited. In this video, I'll show you a program for seeing file usage that's fast, free, and easy to use. The program we'll use is called Windurstat, which stands for Windows Directory Statistics, and it's available at windurstat.net. So I'm on that webpage here. When you go to that site, click the button that says Downloads, and you have several options here. If you're on a Windows desktop PC, probably Intel 64-bit is exactly what you need. But if you have any doubt, go to the search bar on your computer, type in system information, click the box up here to see your stats, and over here you can see the processor for your computer. I can see I have an Intel processor, and it's x64 based. So I'll close this, and I'll click the downloader here. I'll save it to my computer. Once you've downloaded it, double click to install. I'll click next. I'll accept the agreement. The default location looks good. I'll create a desktop shortcut, and I'll install it. Let's finish it. Now that it's installed, let's run it. Here's the program on my desktop. I'll double click on it. And it wants me to choose which drive I want to analyze. I'll just choose my C drive. Then I'll click OK. Now you can see it's analyzing my disk usage. You'll know it's working when you see these Pac-Man icons going back and forth. The first time you run it, it takes a minute or so. It depends how big your hard drive is and how many files you have on it. So it's a good time to check email or get a cup of coffee. Now it's finished. Let's see what this information that it gives us means. Now, first of all, if you're not seeing exactly what I see here, click Options, and then you can enable these different panels. So I have all these four turned on, File Types, Tree Map, Toolbar, Status Bar. The top panel here is our traditional file structure view. You can see my C drive, and it has all the different directories. I can expand and look into it. And the nice thing is that each folder, it tells me exactly how much space is being used inside of it. This gives us much more information than the Windows Explorer view. Down at the bottom, we have a visualization of the drive layout. Each of these rectangles represents a file. And if I click on it, it will get highlighted up top. Additionally, on the right, I have the color coding explanations. So if I click on something green here, that's an MOV file. And I can see it's this Photoshop one. So whenever you click on something on one panel, the corresponding information in the other panels also gets highlighted. This bottom part is called our tree map. I'm going to close this just so we have more room to see the top. So I'll uncheck Show Tree Map. And now I can see my file structure up here. If you want to sort by file usage, just click the columns here and you can sort by it. I can sort by how many files are there, the last change, or the physical size. Now let's talk about best practices for cleaning up your drive. As someone once said, with great power comes great responsibility. Do not delete files if you don't know what they do. Furthermore, Windurstat is pretty powerful in what it can delete. So for that reason, I really don't recommend using Windurstat itself for deleting things. The main thing I use it for deleting is old video, audio, or image files. Things that I know I'm not using anymore. To delete programs, you should use the Windows uninstaller or whatever that program specific uninstaller is. For example, let's look at my program files here. Let's say I want to delete DaVinci Resolve. I would not delete it here in Windows Stat. Rather, I would go to the search bar here on my computer. I'd type Programs. I'd select Add Remove Programs. Then I would scroll down. And where it says DaVinci Resolve, I would click on these three dots and uninstall it this way. This is the cleanest way to uninstall programs. For games, you probably want to uninstall through Steam or whatever game launcher you use to install the game to begin with. So that's how I use Windurstat to get a great overview of how my computer's disk space is being used. If you want to see more Windows productivity tips, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.